everyone! So today we will have our new lesson and our lesson is about temperature. Let's watch this. Magandang araw mga bata. So ngayon tayo ay nasa week 5 ng quarter 4 at pag-uusapan natin ang how to read and measure temperature with a problem. So kailangan niyo ba mga nasa larawan? So ang unang nasa larawan ay si Kuya Kim. At ang pangalawa naman ay si Mang Tani. Ano ba yung ginagawa nila? Si Kuya Kim at si Mang Tani ay nagbibigay ng informasyon tungkol sa pangyayari or weather forecast sa atin sa araw-araw. So, maaaring malamig, mainit, may mga sumusunod na araw. So, ano ba yung temperature? Temperature plays a crucial role in medical care, both humans and animals, food, beverages, and agriculture. Our overall health is often reliant upon temperature is in many ways as well. So, temperature is the hotness or coldness of a body or object. It can be expressed in degrees Celsius. So, yung degrees Celsius, pwede rin natin siyang isulat ng degree na maliit din na parang zero density. So, degrees Celsius. So, may counterpart yan yung degrees Fahrenheit. So, degrees F. Pero karaniwan, ginagamit natin to measure the temperature or yung unit na ginagamit natin ay talagang degrees Celsius. A thermometer is an instrument for measuring temperature. A unit for measuring temperature is the degrees Celsius. So, ang example natin ng thermometer yung nakikita natin dito sa larawan. So, Kailan ba natin ginagamit ang thermometer kapag may lagnat, diba? O mataas yung temperatura, pag-check. Pero lalo-lalo na ngayon, dahil uso ang COVID-19, so sa pagpasok natin sa bawat establishment, kailangan i-check ang temperature ng isang tao. So, meron tayong iba't-ibang uri o ginagamit na thermometer. So, here are the examples of thermometer na ginagamit natin to find the temperature of a body. Pero ito namang number 2, ito number 2, ito naman yung thermometer para sa mga room or room temperature. So, makikita natin yung unit sa so, left side, ito yung degrees Fahrenheit, and the right side, ito yung degrees Celsius. So, karaniwan natin ginagamit ang degrees Celsius. Kaya, dito tayo titingin sa my right side. Ito ang example natin ng thermometer or room thermometer and its parts. So, meron tayong glass bulb. And then, the alcohol, yung alcohol yung nag-red para makita natin kung saan nagsitapat, kung sa ano, ma-measure natin ang temperature. And yung mga numbers na yun na nakikita nyo is the scale. And also, uh, ang thermometer ay merong glass tube. Ayan. Yung glass tube natin. Diba? So, yung left side again is the Fahrenheit and C is for the Celsius. So, a thermometer consists a glass of a glass attached to a glass tube with a number of scales. The liquid in a bulb rises or drops when temperature changes. So, masasabi natin, ayan, kapag tumaas yung red na yan, ibig sabihin nagbabago, umiinit pag tumataas. Pag bumababa yan, ibig sabihin nun, lumalamig or coldness yun. The ethanol rises when hot and tumataas, yung degree Celsius, and goes down when it is cool. So, the normal body temperature is 37.5 degrees Celsius. So, meaning 37.5 below, wala kang lagnat. Pero pag tumaas yan ng 37.6 and above, ibig sabihin nun, mainit ka na, may lagnat na ang isang tao. Ano ba yung the boiling point? When we say boiling point of water, ito yung kumukulo. So, umaabot ito ng 100 degrees Celsius. At yung freezing point naman, yung nagyayelo, Ibig sabihin nun, 0 degrees Celsius. What more kapag naging negative? Negative 20 degrees Celsius. Ibig sabihin nun, sobrang lamig na sa isang lugar. So, each space in the number scale represents 1 degrees Celsius. Ayan yung mga guhit na nita pinakikita. The numbers below 0 are written in minus sign or negative kapag binabasa na. So, Pilipinas ba nag-negative ang temperature? Hindi, kasi mainit ang ating temperatura sa Pilipinas. 
So, example natin, itong, and what is the temperature being shown? So, itong larawan natin, so, mula dun sa 0, so, 10, 20, 30, 40, so, umabot ba sa 50 yung stock? No. Pero, umabot siya dun sa isang buhet bago mag 50. So, meaning, kung yan, gibilangin natin, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so, pwede natin yan i-estimate ng 2, 4, 6, 8, so, masasabi natin na ang measurement ng temperature na to ay 48 degrees Celsius. Tingnan natin ang example number 2. Emmanuel is not feeling well. After their trip to Cavite, so his mother used a thermometer to measure his temperature. The normal body temperature of a person is 37.5 degrees Celsius. Observing the thermometer below, how many degrees in Emmanuel's temperature higher than the normal body temperature? So, hindi maganda ang pakaramdam ni Emmanuel, meaning meron dagdag siya. So, tingnan natin ang kanyang temperature. So, based on our temperature, so, umabot ito na, wala pa namang 40, so, sa so last line natin, so, meaning ito ay 38 degrees Celsius. So, as we all know, ang normal body temperature natin is 37.5 degrees Celsius. So, ilan kaya ang difference ng normal body temperature sa temperature na Emmanuel? So, 38 minus 37.5 is equivalent to 0.5 degrees Celsius. Paano natin nakuha yun? So, 0 minus 5, hindi yun bring down 5. Instead, 0 minus 5 cannot be, so borrow 1 from 8. So, it will become 7, then 0 will become 10. 10 minus 5 equals 5, then 7 minus 7 equals 0. Stomatic 0 din yun, 3 minus 3. So, ang answer natin ay 0.5 degrees Celsius. Tingnan naman natin yung temperature ng mga sumusunod na thermometer. Read the temperature shown in each thermometer. So, yung number 1 natin, saan tumapat? Okay, so ito ay tumapat sa 0 degrees. Ibig sabihin na freezing point. Sobrang lamig na, nagyayelo. At yung pangalawa naman, ito naman ay 100 degrees Celsius. Ibig sabihin na boiling point, kumukulo na, kumbaga... Kung nag-init ka ng tubig, ito ay kumukulo na. Number 3. So, ito ay tumapat sa 37 degrees Celsius. Ano ba yung 37 degrees Celsius? The normal body temperature of a body. Number 4. Yan. So, ito ay 25 degrees Celsius. Kung sa lukuhin, ang temperatura ng paligid ay 25 degrees Celsius. So, ito ay tamang-tama naman sa atin. Hindi mainit at hindi rin mainit. So, at ang sumunod naman ay 20 degrees Celsius. So, kung 20 degrees Celsius, kung kahit tayo ay nag-aircon ng 23 degrees Celsius, ibig sabihin nun malamig. Ayan, pwede na tayo magpajamas, di ba? So, learning task to naman, choose what you think is the temperature of the following. Hot water. O, oh, mainit. So, is it negative? 30 or 70 degrees Celsius? O, okay, so maaari natin sabihin na yan ay 70 degrees Celsius. Mataas. Punta sa mataas dahil mainit ang tubig, di ba? Ano ba yung boiling point? Di ba? 100 degrees Celsius. Number 2. A person with fever. So, is it 30, 35, or 40? So, below 37.5 is normal. So, mini ang sagot ay 40 degrees Celsius. Pero, delikado ako kung 40 na, maaari na tayong isugod sa hospital. Baka uh, tumitilik na yung mata. Hindi lang tinatawag natin sa mga bata na matasin na yan. Iced cold tea. Ang dahil malamig. So, ito ay maaaring sabi natin ng 10 degrees Celsius. Bread in oven. Yan, mainit. So, pwede natin sabihin na ito ay 100 degrees Celsius. Next, ice candy. Sobrang lamig ng ice candy. Pwede natin yan ng yellow. So, ibig sabihin ito ay 0 degrees Celsius. So, sagutin natin ang tanong ito. How much hotter is the temperature needed to melt gold than the temperature needed to melt lead? So, here is the table, the element of gold and lead, and the melting point of gold, which is 1064.43 degrees Celsius. The lead is 327.5 degrees Celsius. So, what is us in the problem? So, how much hotter is the temperature needed to melt gold than the temperature needed to melt lead? What facts are given? So, ito na yung facts natin na given. 
So the gold of 1,063.43 degrees Celsius and the lead of 307.5 degrees Celsius. What operation to be used? Subtraction. We will just subtract. Para magmanis lang tayo. How solution done? So we will subtract. So kopyahin lang natin ang unit na degrees Celsius. So 3 minus, pwede natin lagyan yan na 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. 4 minus 5 cannot be. So bar 1 from 4, 4 will become 3, 4 will become 14. 14 minus 5 equals 9, then decimal point. 3 minus 7 equals uh, cannot be. So bar 1 from 6, 6 will become 5, then 3 will become 13. 13 minus 7 equals 6, then 5 minus 2 equals 3. Then 0 minus 3 cannot be. So bar 1 from 1, so naging 10 minus 3 equals 7. So, what is the answer? 736.93 degrees Celsius. Ito yung difference. Gano kataas. Yung melting point ng gold sa lead. In our learning task 4, tingnan na natin. Tell if each statement is true or false. Number 1, Bay has a fever. Her temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. Is it true or false? So, the answer is false. Diba? 37.5 uh, more than 37.5 ay may lang yan. The water is boiling. Its temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. The answer is true. So, the people people feel comfortable when the temperature is 40 to 8 degrees? Of course not. So, it is false. Sobrang init na. Baka magsakit na tayo yan sa sobrang init. Now, our letter B solve the following problems. So, the temperature at Carmona Cavite at 1 p.m. is 32 degrees Celsius. Between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m., the temperature dropped 3.2 degrees Celsius. So, what is the temperature at 5 o'clock? So, notice drop, bumaba. So, isusubtract lang natin, di ba? So, 32 degrees Celsius minus 3.2 degrees Celsius. So, as we all know, dahil ito ay uh, decimal, magdagdagan tayo ng point and zero. So, copy the unit or degrees Celsius. 0 minus 2 cannot be, so bar 1 from 2, 2 will become 1, then 0 will become 10. 10 minus 2 equals 8, then decimal point, 1 minus 3 cannot be, so bar 1 from 3, 3 will become 2, then 1 will become 11. 11 minus 3 equals 8, then 28. So, the difference or the temperature at 5 o'clock is 28.8 degrees Celsius. And, yung 2 and 3, bali na kayo magsagot basing your learner's pocket. So, the reference for this, uh, week 5 is 5 volt for a learner's pocket quarter for week 5. And also, your textbook, 21st century math, it's 5, pages 318 to 323. Thank you for watching. Thank you, my dear road to 2,000 subscribers. I am your teacher, Kami. And don't forget to like my YouTube channel. Bye!